to interrupt, but I have some concerns about ASC that really make me bitter about the game. I do not like PvP, but I like the graphics, and I've had the opportunity to play the Battle Royale version when it came out to, to Steam. What can you tell me about the PvE aspect of the game? There's a lot I could tell you about the PvE aspect of the game. First, I would I would want to know some of your concerns about feeling bitter about the game. I'm not going to consider myself a subject matter expert, Jinx, and I'm not going to try to white knight and, and preach to you that this is the only thing for you. I, I'm a big proponent of you make one decision that, that you are confident and you believe in. But I will give you the facts and evidence that I will, that I will help to support those statements. The Battle Royale version doesn't reflect anything in the MMO side. It was more of a data collection testing project for them. Very true, Katak. So Jinx, I would say there's a lot of things I can tell you about PVE and it would be like, I've got to pick one. I would ask more specifically, what elements of PVE appeal to you that you are curious about getting more information about so I can answer that. And then two, what are your what are your feelings of being bitter about ashes of creation in regard to pvp i'm big on free you know free open free thinking communication and conversations here and i don't tell anybody what they should think and how they what they should believe and my answer being the right answer or my thoughts being the right thoughts i'm give you the facts and evidence and let you you know decide for yourself but open world pvp pve character progression and dealing with being ganked while trying to level a character so Here's my thing on being ganked, okay? I get that like there are some MMORPGs that that are have PvP servers, some that have PvE servers, and they differentiate. Some even have RP servers or combinations of said uh, tags that I mentioned, right? The thing to keep in mind is like this is part of the game, but there are systems in place. They are very aware that ganking and like toxic types of behaviors are things that they like as a community perspective, that's something they don't want in their game. The bounty hunter system and the corruption system are ways that are aimed to balance it out. Some of the things that I think you're concerned about, like being concerned about being ganked while you're trying to level a character, more often than not, people that gank or camp gank um, or repeatedly gank or like, you know, try to like grief people in game, they usually target them for a reason. Um, usually because they don't like them. It could usually be something just really ridiculous. Like you took that farming node and I don't like that you got it. And I said something to you, but you didn't respond. So now I'm going to be super toxic. I'm going to go after you. I'm going to gank you, right? Some people are probably going to gank because it's fun. And it's a good time. You know, you get ganked once you die, you lose some of your stuff. You, you drive on. That's kind of one thing, right? It is an open world PVP uh, game, but it's not the only focus because PV is a very big part of it as well. But part of the PVP element is that's part of the meaningful conflict for the way things like nodes, trade, uh, caravans, uh farming all the stuff and things right like you're literally everything so the focus is to like redirect uh meaning you know re redirect people to like actually you know invest in community and build meaningful relationships and have alliances and that's like a big part of like uh, the premise of the game right so as a result of that are you going to have those things happen absolutely is it going to be taxing and really not fun absolutely i've been ganked before i've been killed in open world pvp situations i've been camped and i've been griefed in the past is it taxing? Is it is it annoying? Is it pissy off sometimes? Absolutely. But one thing I will say that I, I find to be, uh, we'll take the corruption system, put that to the side. We'll take the bounty hunter system, put that to the side. Do you know what those are and are you aware of them is the other question I'd have. Because um, we can elaborate on that a little bit more if you aren't. Totally happy to do that. Um, the other point is, though, is one thing that and I, and you may know this i might be saying something you already are aware of and if i am well pardon me just kind of trying to throw out information i think could be beneficial so the the thing to keep in mind about an open world game open world pvp sort of like atmosphere where that's a potential or a possibility is and correct me if i'm wrong to anybody else here who's played an mmorpg i'm gonna just reflect on my experience in a multitude of them that i played more often than not the culture of of mmorpg communities is that if someone's like yo someone is starting to gank me they're griefing me they won't they keep camping me they're not letting me play the game and i'm having a hard time with this the majority of people uh, that like i and i'm one and i'll tell you right now i'm one of these people what i will do is if i see that much like many people i will group with that person and usually groups will form around helping that person or communities and guilds uh, or in this game, you could think of nodes and things like that, zones, etc. They, you would tend to like, bi like bind together or group up, and then you go and you find those people and you put an end to them, right? And then that person 
now that has been ganking that character now communities will get together to eliminate that toxic person or people like i thoroughly enjoy helping people in an mmorpg who don't know what to do don't know where to go don't know how to find something need help because they're getting ganked or griefed by somebody right there's this whole thing here about bringing lights justice to the realm and lights justin is giving those um toxic motherfuckers a good old classic spank spank spanking down into the dirt where they belong for being them people right but you've also got so that's part one part two you will also find that more often than not in this game the way it is currently designed they will incur corruption they'll incur corruption for ganking you under those conditions and corruption essentially flags them okay now now they're basically fair game they have the potential to lose some of their shit like gear things like that bounty hunters can now uh, take out bounties and come track them down i mean you put a target on your back when you do that for that reason and that's just the in-game stuff the social community element people tend to come look for that person and stomp them out then the other element is that person that does that that character tends to actually get kind of like a reputation for being that person and that also means that as a consequence people may not want to play with them may not want to divide them into groups so there are consequences and the risk reward element is a big part of ashes of creation does, is it going to be taxing if someone does that? Absolutely. Is it going to be no fun? Absolutely. But I will say that if you're willing to ask people for help, you will probably find more often than not that that problem will be eliminated real quick. Is it a part of the game? Absolutely. Now, in terms of the PvE elements, there's all kinds. There's in-game progression raid content, 40-man raiding, right? Dungeons that have progression difficulty as you go through them and further into them. Fun stuff. You've got your open world raid bosses. You've got, you got all kinds of things. You've got events that can be activated. You've got caravans, which can be PvE, but they can also be PvP if someone tries to attack them. Um, you've got all kinds of things, man. I mean, the pillars of this game and the node system itself are just so elaborate. We actually have got a page up on the Ashes HQ that actually talks about uh, da, 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 bounty hunting right there. Yes, I'm going to link it because I put time into the daggum page. And this friend, this is a site that we run here called Ashes HQ. And that is the bounty hunting page. And it's super short, sweet, and to the point, easy to digest information without all the convoluted stuff you see, right? It's straightforward, like what are bounty hunters? And it's military stage four, by the way, Wizzy. You got bounty hunter maps. Uh, you've got the pathfinding ability, which is what allows them to find people who are corrupted. Right, so this is the bounty hunter system. This is the balance put into place as a uh, feature of the game uh, that allows the player, this is that player agency part, allows the players to essentially uh, work a job, bring in justice. And you gotta think too, you go to, it's all right there. I'm not gonna like read it all for you because it's why I made the, the webpage. But they can go to places like taverns and stuff, which is another tie in to um, talking about, uh, you know, you can go pick up the bounties and stuff like that. But yeah, taverns are really great because taverns are going to offer them. But there's also like an NPC and a board in a military node where you go do the same thing. Oh, is the game currently playable? Mm, not at this time. There is a play test coming up uh, February 19th through the 22nd, but it is closed, meaning there is a visual NDA in place and people can't share that can't showcase it yet there is also another test march 19th through the 26th for one full week there is no nda and it is streamable at which time you will see me living in there and then april 6th through may 6th is a month-long streamable testing period those currently are what are outlined so my only gameplay footage that i have that i can share is from apocalypse have i played previous testing phases all the way back to alpha zero. Absolutely. That's the kicker. The kicker is we can't stream it and show it, but last during the December 18th through the 21st test, we never got confirmation we could share it. So as a result, ain't nobody sharing nothing. So I reflect on 
uh, stuff and things from my past testing. That is like the PI test that was, uh, that there is video footage up on their YouTube that Steven cut himself, you know? Um, so you can definitely go and you can see that and find, you'll find me running around in there too. Just to keep all these things in mind, friend is like, yeah, Apocalypse, I played the shit out of it. I streamed the shit out of it. I got video footage of it. That's the only video footage of anything I've played that's Ashes related that I can share because of there not being an NDA in place. So in March, you're going to see me living in it. 